everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I do a real pretty very very simple flat brush blue flower painted on this clear glass bottle I've already cleaned it off with soap and water I've gone over it with rubbing alcohol so it's ready to go I am going to be using 2a magic paint brushes today a number 10 and a number 12 I do post my links down below as to where I purchase from. They are affiliate links, so if you'd like to purchase through them, you're welcome to do so. A number four round brush. My crazy Westonia fine liner. I need to get a new one. Number eight Deerfoot stippler. And of course, my dotting stylus. Paints I use are all folk art paints, combination of enamels and multi surface. I'm using Cerulean Blue, Hydrangea, and Calypso Sky, Thicket, Wicker White, Burnt Umber, School Bus Yellow, and Forest Moss. All right, let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, I'm going to start with my number 12, a magic flat brush. And basically what I'm going to do, and I apologize, I just don't have a, uh, the way I, I'm set up right now, my camera is very close to what I'm working on, so it's hard for me to have my palette right there with me. But anyhow, filling it with a color, with a color you can pick a color, doesn't matter. And I'm just going to tap into another color and then just keep painting and I'm going to keep tapping and I can even tap into white if I need to. The main thing is is to make sure that you're doing uh, getting an opaque design so that it's got good coverage. So basically I'm just doing the flat brush and pulling it towards the center. Now you can overlap the petals if you want or you can keep them separated, up to you. I will be tapping in the centers again with the Deerfoot Stippler, so just keep that in mind. When you're doing that, you can go into the center as much as you want. You don't have to go all the way in, but the centers will be, will be tapped in with the Deerfoot Stippler. Now this is just going to be kind of a bud, partially open, and I'm going to do a few here. When you visit my channel, keep in mind the intent is for it to be simple designs that anybody who can hold a paintbrush can actually paint. I just like to create stuff that people can feel creative with no matter what their skill level is. So please keep that in mind because I'm sure some people look at it and think, wow, this is really it's too simple. But it's meant to be that way. It's on purpose. So you can just turn your brush, go different directions with it. Again, that's up to you. You know how, how many open buds you want. If you feel like you got one that has is too dark, just go over it with a lighter paint to lighten it up some. You can also, when you're doing this, if you feel like you're getting too transparent of a design, go back over it, give it some dry time, whatever you feel you need to do. And let's see here with this one. I think I'm going to do one where I pull it down like that because it's just kind of open, but it's not completely open just have fun with it. And these are just easy, easy, easy designs and they're meant to be easy. 
that's my my main thing is I don't want people coming to my my site and or my channel and feeling like gosh these are just way too easy well they're meant to be I, they're very they're made with intention <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do some bud trailing buds coming down this way very simple And then coming over like that. And then maybe one more here towards the end. For the purpose of the video, I am just doing the front part of the bottle. I do add lights to my bottles, at least right now. I'm looking into doing some other creative stuff with gloss bottles, but haven't uh, mastered that yet to start doing videos with. All right, so with my round brush, I'm just sticking completely into my thicket. Right now, I'm just gonna come down and do just like a little, I don't know, stem, vine, whatever, to connect these all together as if they were a bouquet. Or just coming off of one, one stem. Coming like that, this little guy, and then these I'm going to flip around because they're kind of upside down, they're hanging down, so I want them to be treated as such. Sticking my brush back into another color, this time it is the forest moss. reason I'm doing this is just to give it more opaqueness, contrast, because you'll find that when you do this, the thicker it is, as long as it's not too thick, you don't want it to be where it'll bubble when you bake it. That can be a problem too. And then I'll just come up into the actual flowers a little bit, tie them in, Again, just kind of go on rotating and with the colors. Whenever you're painting, if you feel like you've gotten too much paint on your brush, just wipe it off on a paper towel or towel, whatever you're using with your, your palette. I would not recommend washing them with water in between painting. And the mere fact on that is, is that the water can weaken the paint since this paint is glass paint and you want to have good adherence you want to make sure that you don't water it down very important that it stays full strength just so that it it is nice and you know good coverage and you don't have a design that scratches off easily and we'll just continue on here using this brush. Now you can use your flat brush. I know I for one am very capable of doing what I'm doing right now with a flat brush since I use flat brushes so much. So I went ahead too for this little part of the stem added some more green to it. I'm going to do that here as well. And I just don't want it to be where it comes comes off. So again, on this one, I'm attaching it since this is flipped up. This is kind of like the bottom of the flower. And then we'll go up in here. And I apologize, my furnace is getting ready to start here. That's what you're going to hear in the background. I keep in mind too, with what I'm doing right now, I am going to be adding a lot of leaves. So if you feel like, you know, something isn't, you know, the coverage isn't as, as thick as you think it should be when you're watching me, 
Well, I'm gonna probably be going over a lot of these with leaves. So what I'm doing is just kind of giving it a little bit. There we go. All right, so that being said, I'm going to go ahead and use my number 10 flat brush and I'm going to stick it can do basically the same thing get it all covered with the, the thicket and then stick it in another one of the colors or if you want to do kind of like the one stroke loading you can do that as well Again, that's up to you now with the leaves I will be sticking my paintbrush into way too much paint on there for me into the whites and the yellows just to give it I don't know give it a different look all right so here we go so with these leaves I am going to be doing some wiggling when you do wiggle these so you have to be careful when you're doing them on glass that you're actually getting good coverage and you're not pulling the paint up when you're wiggling it. And this one I didn't really do a very good blending stroke on so it's got the, the white streaks in it. So I'm going to go over it again because I don't like that that much. But know that because it has that white in it, it's going to be more opaque. And you can tell that by this one. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Sometimes I just kind of tap, sometimes I give a little wiggle as I go and pull. Just got to get a feel for it. Like that. So painting on glass is definitely a different beast than painting on any other type of surface. You have to keep that in mind when you're painting on it. Now when it seems a little light in the center, I'm going to go back over it again. Again, I can give it some dry time, give it some time with my heat gun, however I want to do it, and then go on painting. If you don't have a heat gun or a hair dryer to use, you know, feel free to give it a little bit of time. And that would might be just some, um, maybe an hour or so to get it to just set up a little bit before you paint over it. And the main thing when I'm doing this, I just got to keep my mind on painting and not be worried about touching the other side to the paper that's underneath my painting because I have a tendency to mess my designs up doing that. Now blending strokes help as far as the way your paint that comes out. Um, I'm going to just do some really light wiggles and come over here and I'm trying just to rotate these some so that each side is different they're not all the same I might have you know dark green on one side light on the other or I might have dark on both sides or and what I'm referencing are the paint colors on the outside see I have the darker the lighter lighter darker some have yellow some have white you know that kind of thing it just I kind of rotate it a lot and you can do different styles of leaves you don't have to do all one kind they don't all need to look the same which they won't the way I paint they won't <laughs> I can rest assured they will not so we're just keep adding adding leaves 
until we get them added to the amount that we want. I like a lot of leaves. If you don't, then feel free to paint your design, you know, to whatever type of leaves you want, however many you want, because I can go crazy with my leaves. And then I just like to just kind of look at it and say, where do I need to add some leaves? See how pretty though? Just take your time, relax. You know, I try to go through these somewhat quickly because I'm doing a video, but you don't have to. Just, you know, sit down, relax, and enjoy what you're doing. You do blending strokes as you're going, you know, when you start. Again, because I have blue underneath me, not underneath me, but underneath this, I'm just taking my time try not to pull the blue up into what I'm painting right now. I like to get a few little leaves in here just to tie it all together. And then I'll go into my my, um, my little one stroke roll easy leaves here in a second. So make sure I'm still on screen. I'm sorry if I ever float off. I am trying to be very vigilant about that, but the way my camera is set up right now, sometimes I get off and I don't realize it. Okay, so even like going up, up the neck of the bottle, you can do that. And right now, what I'm going to do is stick my paint all into the forest moss get a little bit of the white and then I'm going to start adding some other little leaves here just to finish this off there's a little bit of a contrast thank you furnace a little bit of a contrast to what I was already painting because I went in with the forest moss and I'm using this you know just doing I'll force my moss and white. Whoops, I'm just kind of stirring it together. And I can do just some quick little pull leaves like that. Nothing, nothing hard at all. They're just little, kind of on the chisel edge and, and you pull, not a big deal. If I want to make like I have a stem in them, I can do that very quickly. Go back in here, add some more, and then just keep working. And let me come back in here and add a little bit more to it. That one's a little thin right there. I don't want it to be that thin. Now I'm getting it to where I gotta be careful because I don't want to accidentally lean on these on my paper. And I can do again just those little little the little leaves. Maybe add a little bit more green into them. The forest moss. Or a little bit more white. Doesn't matter. But you can see it just kind of gives it, it feels, they're kind of like fillers. You can actually go into the centers here if you want. You want to go back to more of the, the basic darker green that we were doing before. You can do that too. And I'm just doing... A lot of 
colors in my brush. And I can do a little stem in it. I don't really like how that part looks. So I'm going to probably go over it again. I just got to be careful because you can pull up the paint and then that's not good either if you do that. You can tell I have some blue in there. So I'm going to go like I put get my brush off a little bit. So I say when you get to the point where you have too much paint, just wipe it off. Not a big deal, right? And come out here with that, come up here with that. Can you see that, I hope? I did pull some blue off, so. And I can do a little stem in there. Like I said, you don't have to do a ton of leaves. I do a lot, because I really like leaves. I think I'm gonna stop on those for right now before I get too carried away. On my Dare Foot Stippler, I'm going to put it all into the yellow, yellow, uh, or school bus yellow, and then come in and tap in my centers. Let's see what all we have here. This one might have a little bit of a center because it's got some petals up. I'll put it like that, just kind of putting it in there. Then I'm gonna do the heel of it. And whenever I put paint into my brush, I do tap it on my plate. This kind of helps get Get the excess paint so you're not blopping it on too much. I'm going to just try to touch this a tad with that because I don't want it to be too crazy. But I don't, I like them to be a little kind of loose in a sense. And I probably am. I should have probably done this part before I added the center. I should have done that before I added the petals, but it's fine. You get the gist, right? All right, and then what I'm gonna do is tip the front of it a little bit into the white, come back here, touch a little bit of white on them. And I like to do this part, you don't have to, but for some reason, I do like to do that. So then what I'm gonna do is take my little fine liner my favorite little brush, and I'm gonna come around what I would consider the bottom part of the flower, and then pull these little pieces out from it, just around the base. Okay, I like that. And I'm gonna do a little bit, Now I probably shouldn't even have done any of that around this, but I'm going to, because I like the way it looks, because technically, probably wouldn't be showing, but I'm going to, just because I like it. It's my painting, I can do what I want, right? Exactly. All right, so here we go. I think I got all those. Then I'm gonna take my dear, er, sorry, my little dotting stylus, dot, stick it into the I can do it either way. Do the brown first, or I hope you can see that. And then go like this. Come up here, do the same thing. I'm just doing three. You can do one, you can do three, you can do whatever you want. Knock yourself out. Then I'm gonna do, go into the brown. You can wipe it off or just tap back into it. And I am going to do the brown. This just kind of ties in the brown and the yellow with the brown and the yellow in the center that I did. Again, like I said, you don't have to do this part. I just like to show extra things that can be done so that you get a little bit of color with it. But isn't that pretty? Very simple, again, very simple strokes and you have a pretty bottle. Throw some lights in it. You can paint just the front of it. I will paint the whole thing. That's just because that's what I like to do. But there you have it. I hope you like this video. If you do, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. 
If you're new to my channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please, before you leave, take a minute and share this video on your social network with your family and friends. Just hit the share button underneath the video and you'll be good to go. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.